What's going on everybody? Gemmin here back with another statue review. We got another prototype in from XM Studios. Big thank you to those guys for letting us take a look at these pieces and sharing them with you all. We got the quarter scale Archangel. This is version A, which is the classic costume, my personal favorite. We're gonna take a look at these pieces individually. We'll do an assembly, I'll do a review, let's do it. All right guys, so pieces on the table. Let's take a look at some of these base elements. You have these sentinel kind of tentacles. I like that dull blue. I like that design in the arm and the battle damage that's on the blade part of this. And then there's a longer piece. Again, has that nice kind of snake mechanical design. You can see the inner workings of it. Same type of clamp. Again, a lot of dings and battle damage on that as well with a dull metallic shine. Then we have the base itself. It's been a while since I could pick up a base and show you, but you can see more of those curled tendrils. You have this Egyptian inscription rock and uh, a lot of nice blue hints with the Danger Room base. Archangel has two sets of wings. This is part of the smaller set, actually, which is still pretty huge. Love the design, love the sculpt of it. That same kind of dull metallic shine that we saw on that tentacle arm, uh, but looks great. So that's the first one. Here's the second piece, more of the same, but those blades from the wings that Archangel can shoot out at his enemies. You can see where it keys in there. And then we have the large wings. So this one is kind of curled in, tucked in a little bit more. I love how large these wings are and the fact that he's got the multiple sets, just like in the comics. Very cool. And then we'll do the last large wing, which is more outstretched. Awesome. I can't wait to see it put together. Those long feathers are razor sharp blades, uh, making him such a deadly adversary. But enough about the wings. Let's go and look at some of Archangel's body parts. We'll start with his arm. This is his right arm, which will be more downward on his body. But look at the designs on the glove, the musculature, the shadowing from the light to dark blue. Love that pop of pink. Looks great on the costume. And then the left arm looks very similar, but it's going to be outstretched in the air. But the same great sculpt and details. The paint applications look great here. Awesome. Look how ripped he is. You can see all the muscles. Then we have the body itself. He's got the musculature, the chest, the six pack and all that. But I, again, I just love the shadowing. The detail of the costume looks great. He's actually got a third set of wings built into his back and they just nailed the costume design here, man. Love the pink on blue. My favorite Archangel costume. Then we have the portraits. One of three. This is your traditional Archangel screaming rage portrait with the baby blue face, the whited out eyes, still has the blonde eyebrows, but I love the detail on the teeth and in the mouth it looks great top-notch quality classic helmet design as well then we have his more human look the Warren Worthington the third look with his blonde hair blowing in the wind he still looks a little upset he's got a blue face a lot of detail put into the hair sculpt look how many tendrils they have flowing back here getting a little bit longer toward the bottom so I really dig this portrait got the blue kind of lipstick <laughs> And then lastly, we have his death, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse portrait, which has a very day of the dead type of vibe. I like the paint applications on the skull. You have that bone look, very white going into the darker crevices. You have the teeth and the eyes, looks great. All right, so let's take a look at the side of the base since we didn't really get that good of a look at it. You can see all the broken pieces of column or rocks. Like I said, they have those inscriptions on them. You can see those tentacles wrapped throughout there, but it's sitting on top of a danger room base. You have the wiring powering the danger room. You can see the blue grid-like texture on top, which is very similar to the Professor X and the Iceman that we reviewed. But anyway, we'll get Archangel keyed into the top of the base here. He has a very long peg. And then I'll go ahead and put those Sentinel arms in there. Seems like you can do it either way. So that first one there, and then the shorter one's gonna go up front right here, and boom. That's it for the base. Going to his back, we're gonna key in the smaller wings, and I say that with air quotes because they're huge, but uh, we'll get the left wing there, and then the right smaller wing will key right here. All right, and then we have the big pieces, right? So the big left wing up top. All right, there we go. And then the right wing, same thing, and that's it. So wings are attached. Let's go ahead and get those arms in. So like I said, that right arm hanging low, Left arm, we're gonna place it up top high. Let's get a better look. Um, that first portrait, looking upward, looking to where his hand's reaching. I think most collectors will use this portrait. Very cool to still have his more human look. Some people might dig that. Uh, I like the blue face. I like how they got him post Archangel with this portrait. 
And then of course, the last one is one of the first times we see him as Archangel, if I recall in the comics during the X Factor run, uh, the death, one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. Very cool. Let's take a look guys. But before we do, big thank you to Dynamite Entertainment for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out their new comic books this week for Wednesday, June 22nd. They have Samurai Sonya Issue 1, a brand new series. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle 7, Elvira in Horrorland Issue 2, and John Carter of Mars Issue 3. And if you haven't backed their Kickstarter for the boys' three-volume omnibus set, I got the link in the description. Alright guys, here we go. Archangel in quarter scale. I am much more impressed in person and i hate to use this phrase i kind of poked fun at it one time it's just so cliche that uh pictures just don't do it justice man i mean this guy is massive and yeah i mean i expected the wings to be big but uh, i had this kind of fear that he was going to be too short and, and i don't think we have that problem here so let's get the height on him before we get into my final thoughts his hand is the tallest point which is about 28 and a half inches tall the base diameter isn't too bad. It's about 11 and a half inches. You might have, yeah, maybe about 13 inches, uh, depending on the way you angle it. But uh, the wingspan makes this guy pretty wide, right? So the widest part of him is probably 19 inches or so. And the depth, you can get away with something like 13 inches. Retail price on this is 1350 Singapore dollars USD that converts to about 970. Unfortunately, this is a Marvel quarter scale piece, so it's not a worldwide license. They are only licensed for these regions. But with that out the way, I am super impressed with this Archangel. I mean, I'm a huge Archangel fan. He's one of the original X-Men. However, in X-Factor 24, he got changed into Archangel by Apocalypse, became evil, then became good, part of X-Factor. It's a whole decades long story, literally. Uh, converted into a statue for the first time, I believe, in quarter scale. Uh, they have, like I said, a Danger Room base here, which pairs and matches with other X-Men characters from not only this line, but could even possibly mix with <laughs> statues from other companies. I like the teal blue grid on top. It matches the other ones. You have, like I said, those rocks have great paint to them. I didn't really talk about the paint. I talked about the inscriptions, but there's also hieroglyphics on there as well and a nice weathered look to those rocks. You have the blue futuristic tentacles, which we can only assume is from Apocalypse and I think confirmed with the Apocalypse statue, which you might just see on this table in a few days. Moving up to Archangel. so. He's standing up tall. He's getting ready to take off, arm outstretched. I like the dynamic pose and design of this. It does give me worry that he's on that one foot, but I think that's why that peg is extra long. Uh, he seems to wobble very slightly. However, this is a prototype, and I'm not sure you know how the production will turn out, but I trust XM. They've been doing this for a long time. Uh, like I said earlier, I love the costume design. You do have texturing here on the side as well as the matte finish on the uniform, the raised line work where the pink meets the blue. My favorite portrait, I think this is the one to go with, but they gave you three options. XM Studios likes to give you stuff before you complain that you don't have it. You know what I'm saying? Like if they didn't have a maskless portrait, if they didn't have the death portrait, collectors would complain and they would probably make one anyway. So it's kind of like they're doing it anyway. Similar with the version B of this. This is version A, which is the classic costume. Version B is the Uncanny X-Force costume, which I'll review in a few days as well. Uh, love the wings. I love how they were able to give it enough weight where it didn't feel cheap, but it's not too heavy where I'm worried about it on the statue. The paint's perfect. That's the right kind of shine you needed. You wouldn't have a chrome high reflective finish. It would be a matte dull shine like this. Looks great, man. I love how the wings are sculpted in the back. It's like, how do you even translate what they do in the comics to something realistic? Because they can just make up anything on the whim in the comics for the sake of the story or to look cool, but you have to make it practical. And I think XM really did that with this piece, man. I like Archangel a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, it almost makes me regret that I'm not collecting quarter scale X-Men anymore and I'm sticking with the diorama set that I have, but I don't know, man. This is an impressive piece. But that's enough about what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys watching, but don't go anywhere. I'll leave you with Archangel spinning on the turntable. Stay minty fresh, y'all. Peace.